<laughs> morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. Um, I'm making this video real quick just to put some, um, hopefully more traffic to this video because um, Morning Shot is a South African YouTube channel that normally puts out news about South Africa. Sometimes they do include international news and they did something that I am very proud of. They interviewed the Russian embassy in South Africa. And man, oh man, oh man. In their comment section, they had so much backlash about from uninformed people that they actually released a video this morning where they addressed some of the questions and assumptions people have been making. So, um, what I quickly want to do before before I ramble on, um, I'm going to play you a small clip from the interview site. Now, I'm going to put both of these videos in the description. But please, first watch the interview of the Russian Embassy and then watch the respond video um, because it's well worth it. Um, it, sh it sheds a light on how many uninformed people there is in South Africa. And it's kind of scary, guys. It's um, You would think that children are this much uninformed but they're not and it actually it's scary it is um i can't believe that the one thing is um people really think and assume that being a nazi means being anti-jewish <laughs> which it, it, it i'm laughing because and these are mostly grown-ups, people that should be informed about stuff like this. And <laughs> they say some stuff like, how can Zelensky be a Nazi? How? He is Jewish. Yeah, like Nazi is anti-Jewish. Um, yes, Hitler mostly were anti-Jewish. But the whole groundwork of being a Nazi has got nothing to do with the anti-Jewish. And that just shows you how uninformed some people are. But, you know, America, they're not a free country anymore. It's like dictatorship there. Um, if you bring something to light that is not according to whoever's in power, it gets censored. You get censored. If YouTube or whatever was your livelihood, say goodbye to it. The person that actually gave Hunter Biden's laptop to the authorities lost everything. And now it turns out it wasn't a conspiracy theory. It wasn't Russian disinformation. It was the truth. Um, the Russian hoax against Trump. Um... There's so much stuff that gets censored. And they're doing exactly the same thing to Russia at the moment. They are censoring Russia from giving the truth because there was a coup in 2014 or 2016 backed by the USA trying to get NATO part of Ukraine. Um, there's so much more to this invasion that people do not know. And in this interview... They do shed light on it. They do shed light on the the propaganda, the misinformation. I mean, there was a video that was that came out of um, or that was on mainstream media and on Twitter about this naval ship telling this Ukraine, but there was a naval ship, and you could see the the, the country, and they told them to surrender, and the people replied. Fuck you, Russia. Now, that came out of a game. That came out of a game. But there's other videos literally produced by Zelensky to feed this propaganda. When you hear Biden say, relief to Ukraine and you send Ukraine guns, that's not relief. That is forcing Ukraine to buy guns. 
Ukraine is in debt at the moment for buying these guns. It's not relief. And in this interview, the Russian embassy says that yes, they want to drag it out as long as they can because then they sell more guns. For them, it's an economic thing. And this whole invasion was political from the USA side. But watch the interview. Watch Morning Shot reply to these incompetent people and then make up your own mind. So please guy, guys and women stay informed and please do not get brainwashed by mainstream media. So let me play a clip of this quickly for you guys. Um, and uh, I, we, we do have the same question for the corporations. Uh, why didn't they withdraw or they protest? Sorry, just some context. You're going to watch the video now. The corporations he's talking about is the private corporations that pulled out of um, Russia now. So he's got a question for them. Um, they are standing up for moral gains and all of that stuff. But listen to what he says. And it's so true. somehow against other atrocities like let's say what that were committed by US in Iraq because there are millions civilians killed million and over a million of civilians killed by US in Iraq no one protested this uh, no one was pulling out uh, from the business activity in this country so it's politically motivated we get that it is politically motivated but some countries are just reluctant to go they're just well freezing their activities or they're not freezing so it's volatile uh, the situation it can be somewhat surprising like from a commoner standpoint that uh, was like it is unprecedented pressure it is uh, but um, we're, we're not living under sanction like well from it's not it's not our first time on sanctions because sanctions were introduced in 2014 for example when the Russia and Crimea reunited there were sanctions as well and not that the West was helping Russia to flourish all this time let's be honest so uh, it's sanctions are not something new and even in 2014 the West said that it was devastating sanctions that 